Merit goods provide external benefits when they are consumed. For example, being educated not only provides you with the private benefits such as higher wages and increased employability, it also provides a benefit to others. Well-educated and trained workers pay more tax and may become teachers or doctors or may eventually become employers, all benefiting others and helping the economy. If we add the external to the private benefit, we get the social marginal benefit. Graphically, while this suggests more should be consumed, individuals are unlikely to understand the full benefit of merit goods, a phenomenon called information failure. Social efficiency will occur at the output where marginal social benefit equals marginal social cost at QS. But markets fail by only providing output Q and the welfare loss is area A, B, C. So what can be done? Several options are available, including subsidizing merit goods to increase output to QS. In this case, the subsidy would be C to D. Demerit goods, such as alcohol, provide less benefit than is perceived by consumers. There is a problem of information failure. Here, the negative external benefit from marginal consumption shifts the social marginal benefit curve to the left. The socially efficient level of consumption is at QS, but markets would oversupply them at Q, as markets only take into account the perceived private benefits and costs. Here, we assume there is no external cost of production, only consumption. The welfare loss is area A, B, C. Several remedies exist including taxation of demerit goods and imposing minimum prices. Demand contracts from B to D.